a class with other people, but it can be, Pilates can be very price prohibitive because Pilates teachers are extraordinarily well educated. Yes. Like crazy well educated. Oh, so right now you are working those calves in your battissimo girl. Look at you go. My mic got switched off by coming onto the fire. Oh, okay. Because I'm laying on my microphone, you guys. Um, I'm working my gluteus maximus. I am working my hamstrings. I can feel it in my hamstrings. Really, my all of my lower extremities. So this is just another way to take it up. You don't have to do this the first time out. This is more of an intermediate, probably, exercise. But this is just so versatile, like I was telling you, Kendi. I have four small children, and it can be kind of scary, especially the heavier weights. They can drop them on their toes. Mm -hmm. They can drop them on something. They also take a lot of room to store. Yeah. So these bands are better than weights. They're easy to store. You don't have to worry about dropping them on your toes, and yet they're giving you that resistance training just like this chair is. I'm doing a stretch right now, and it feels great. So <laughs> we've been talking about, yes, you can stretch. You can work your muscles, but it's so important after and before workouts to also be stretching. And this gives you the ability, you know, maybe you wouldn't just go and stretch on the floor. This gives you a little bit of that, you know, versatility. you be able to hold on to something to slowly move yourself down. Down a little bit. Um, don't pulsate when you're stretching ever. You want to always do it slow and methodically. That's what's going to um, work your muscles. Pulsating can be dangerous for your muscles. So I would just pull on this slightly, but it feels great. Where am I feeling it? In my hamstrings, right? All the way up my inner and outer thighs again. Um, I've, I feel it in my glutes even, right here in the back. Mm -hmm. Just getting that really deep stretch with this machine. So I've sold like um, uh, exercise equipment. And my abs right now. But maybe you're someone who can't get on the ground, but you've always wanted to work your core. Just sitting in the C curve oh right here yeah. is actually working my core. I don't even have to move. And I have this handlebar. So it's so different than being on the ground. It's stabilizing me, right? Mm -hmm. Just even if you can for a couple seconds hold your feet up, that is going to work that whole core. I've also feel it in my quadriceps. I mean, I'm going home feeling sore after this, but in the best way, right? Not sore in pain, sore in the way like I'm working my muscles, sore in the fact that I am getting that resistance training that people are talking about, right? We're getting the resistance training that the world is on fire about because it's low impact, high result. If you want that long lean dancer's body, people go to Pilates for a reason because it is that low impact, meaning it's not hard on your joints, like maybe running, going for a run or lifting those heavy, heavy weights, but you're still getting the results you're looking for. Well, we have our deals. Oh. <laughs> do it with your hands up. Do it with your hands out. Maybe you've got hand weights and you're doing this. Now, put your toes on there and do it with your toes. It's a completely different workout. So use that bar to really get your feet in shape, particularly if you are getting older. You know what I'm I'm seeing nearly as many men in my Pilates classes now as I'm seeing such a small impact as far as what I mean by that is low impact on your joints, right? Low impact on your hips, on your ankles, on your wrists, high results, long lean dancer's body. That's what people are saying they get from Pilates because you're really getting the stretch while you're building that muscle. And I want to remind you, muscle does burn fat and calories even when you're not working out. So make sure that you're not just doing your cardio to help with your cardiovascular system, but you're actually finding a way, which I think Pilates is the best way, to be able to build those long lean muscles so you're burning those calories even when you're not doing using this machine. I love that. Who doesn't love that? Who doesn't want to burn?